For those of you who use Drummer, you're going to notice some interface changes in this new Logic Pro X update. I'm going to start by creating a drum machine designer track. And first thing you're going to notice is that only one region is created by default instead of two, and that there's no drummer character information here. It's been moved. But before we look at that in more detail, I'm going to create another drummer track. And this time I'll load up an instance of drum kit designer. And same thing here, one region is created by default and no drummer character. Now let me hide this for a moment and I'm going to open the library and we'll see now that the drummer and drum set character and info have been moved here. To start with, make sure you've resized your library so you can see all the info. It might look something like this when you open it up and you'll see a reduced subset of what's available. You'll need to scroll back to get the actual genres before you see the drummers. And same thing here for the drum kits, you can move back. But let's pull it out for the purposes of this video so we can look at it in more detail. So the predominant change is that the drummer character and drum kit info is controlled exclusively in the library now, whereas the preset and pattern info is controlled in the drummer editor. Now we have this lock icon here, which is new, but it's actually the one thing that links together this with the drummer editor. When we click the lock icon, it's the same as toggling the switch for keep drum kit when changing drummers option is enabled in the beats preset menu in the drummer editor. I'll show you what I mean. I'll open the drummer editor and under this little menu here, we have keep drum kit when changing drummers and that's linked with this. So enabling one will enable the other. Let's leave it off for the moment and I'll hide the drummer editor. So getting back to this, we can now click on the drummer icon in the library to open or close the drummer editor. So that's one way of getting into it other than the key command or the button up on top. And we can use the arrows to switch drummer characters. So here I'm switching linearly between the ones in this genre, or of course we can simply click on them here. Now when the actual drum kit itself is selected, the icon and functionality changes. So I'll click on Bluebird and now this switches to the drum kit icon. So we can use this to scroll between the different kits. Like for example, I just switched to Brooklyn and I can click again and switch to Detroit, East Bay, etc. I can go back and we can click this now to open up the actual interface. In this case, it's drum kit designer where we can of course click on the kit pieces to adjust some of the parameters. But the idea is that we can open and close them there. And when we're on the drum machine designer, same thing here, we can switch between the electronic drum kits with these arrows. And we can click on this to open up the drum machine designer interface. And same thing with the drummers. When the drummer itself is selected, we can use these arrows to move between them. But getting back to the drum set icon, so we click on that to open up the interface, but we can also use this menu here to quickly toggle between the producer kit and the regular kit. So we don't need to burrow into all the nested folders here. It's all accessible right from this top part. And in the case of drum machine designer, we use this menu to switch between an alternate mapping of instruments rather than a producer kit and regular kit, since that's not the paradigm that's used with drum machine designer. They're already all mapped out in a summing stack like that. Now that's the main interface changes here. Let's look at the rest of the interface. So I'm going to hit Y to close this and I'll open up the drummer editor by double clicking on this. And you'll notice that we see the name of the drummer character in the main area here. And that's because we don't see it when we have the library hidden and we're working just with this drummer editor. We don't know which character is playing. So this gives us a nice visual indicator. And if we change this manually, like for example, like that, of course it's hidden. But if we then delete that name, it'll revert back and display the name of the actual character. So first thing we can do that's new is we can create new drummer regions with this little plus button here. And here's a nice new feature. Let's say I've modified this somewhat. Maybe I've changed presets and done that and I've modified the drum kit pieces. If I create a new region with this plus button, it'll create a new region based on these modified characteristics rather than on the stock default preset that loads with this drummer instance. So that's a nice new thing. And I can delete this. And if I delete all of them, we'll just see a plus button here to create a region. And there it creates the default region. And we can hide or show the preference to have this plus button here. If I go to my preferences, I'm going to look at display. 
and then tracks. And we have show plus button next to drummer regions, so you can optionally hide it if you want. So those are the main drummer interface changes, and we'll continue with more in the next video.